Uh, Brock the Yahweh, Brock the Yahweh say, Brock the Yahweh, Brock the Yahweh say, Brock the Yahweh, Brock the Yahweh say. All praise unto Yahweh, Bash and Yahweh say, Wah Rakakadash. Double honors unto the apostles of Great Millstone. Honestly, brothers, that be pushing this truth in sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. So, this is going to be a quick video of going into the, the number one cause of death to all life, okay, on the planet earth right now. And this is basically um, dealing with the, uh, the way the earth is ruled right now. Okay, it leads unto death, okay, uh, both in um, in terms of spiritual wickedness and also to what's done in the physical, of which all things are spiritual. So let me start off with um, this, uh, um, this particular scripture, all right, no flesh left to save. And you should pull up the particular the, the, uh, uh, um, the scripture that I'm looking for. So um, the book of Matthew, the 24th chapter. And let's go to the 21st verse. And I'm going to do this video like a rhetorical type statement, because when you when we go down and I read these particular precepts, you should be able to um, decipher who we're talking about here. OK, so the book of Matthew 24 and 21 says, for then they shall be great tribulation, such as not been since the beginning of the world. So we're talking about the end times here. Right. Uh, for this time, uh, no, uh, for this time, not ever shall be. Except those days should be shortened. All right. So we're in the times where we're in, we're living through a period period where time seems to be going faster and faster and faster. Right. So that's that was an indicator to what the end times. There should be no flesh left to save. But for the elect's sake, those days are, are, um, shall be shortened. So let's read it again. You said it says, except those days be shortened, they should no flesh be left to save. Uh, they shall be no flesh uh, saved. OK, and when you consider that cancer is an all, all time high. All right. Prior to this so-called new age civilization that we're living in right now, we didn't have a situation where cancers were at all time high. Now, you might say because, you know, looking at statistics without context is nonsensical. So you might say, all right, well, hold on a minute. The population of the world has increased. Therefore, the amount of cancers that are out there has increased. But the reality of the situation is. Cancer wasn't like a one in four scenario back in the times, as far as I know. OK, this is the times where what cancer uh, uh, in, in terms of population as a percentage of population is at all time high. The same thing goes for uh, uh, um, other diseases like heart disease. All right. That goes back to the what's known as the Western diet. And like I said, this I was going to make this like a rhetorical type thing. Well, guess what? All right. What you're going to have to figure out is. Who's the perpetuator of this Western Western uh, um, diet? OK, this Western diet leads to what? Heart diseases. OK, right. Cancers. All right. Uh, uh, um, uh, birth defects. All right. You've got a lot of people right now that have got uh, um, erectile dysfunction. That's a major thing right now. And it all goes back onto the diet. But who is the uh, um, who is at the spearhead of this Western diet? Is it the Chinese? OK, is it is it the Japanese? Is it is it the Arabs? OK, figure that out. Now, that, like I said, the um, the, the um, uh, 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 um, like I said at the beginning of the video. All right. This this basically this this nation of people. All right. The Edomites, they are the, the cause of all death in, 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 in the world right now. Now, the scripture says that what the more side killeth and maketh alive. But also, what does the scripture say? We go to the uh, the book of Amos, the ninth chapter and the eighth verse. All right. Amos nine and eight. All right. You find out that the Mosai destroys people as a result of a uh, 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 wicked of, of being a uh, wicked. All right. And, and what's wickedness? All right. Well, what's sin? All right. Sin is the transgression of the Lord's statutes and commandments for Yahweh Amos nine and eight it says, behold, the eyes of the Lord power upon the sinful kingdom. I will destroy it from off of the face of the earth, saving so after I will not destroy the house of Jacob. So the eyes of the Lord power are watching all the iniquities that are happening within here. All right. And guess what? Those iniquities are, 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 have increased. All right. As the ruler of the people. OK, I think I think that's this should this should uh, as, as the ruler is. OK, this is going to make the point as the ruler is. I think it's in the book of Proverbs because um, we, we read that scripture within the book of Amos, the ninth chapter on the eighth verse. OK. And that that, that, that shows you that what that, that uh, uh, the Maasai, uh, uh, um, 
the Lord, okay, is um, watching everybody what what they're doing here, okay. Let me put as the ruler, and that should pull up the scripture. Okay, bear with me as I just uh, go through this. Um, you know, I don't plan these things out. Just do my best to go in the spirit. Um. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's in his Ezekiel. So I'll, I'll just quote it. I'll quote it. Pretty much the scripture says that what? As the ruler of the people is, all right? So uh, as as the ruler is, so shall the people be. All right, meaning to say if the ruler is wicked, so so, so, so shall the people be, all right? Uh, uh, um, and if the, and if the ruler is righteous, so shall the people be. There's also another one that goes something to the effect of um, um, when the righteous are in rulership. Okay, that's a good one to bring out here. Okay, Proverbs 29 and 2 says, When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear a fruit, the people mourn. And why do they mourn? Going back onto this, uh, um, going back onto the, 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 the scripture, going back onto the topic of the video, that, like, I, like I'd said, okay, because pretty much uh, uh, um, uh, through wickedness, okay, through iniquity, through the, through the uh, um, lack of observing the law, statute, commandments of the Most High, all right, these people get put to death. Because of their their sins, okay. The way the scripture says that the wages of sin is death. That's why I said. That's why I said I was going to title this video. What is the What is the major cause of death? Okay, okay. The number one cause of death within the world is because you got a wicked ruler, and because the ruler is wicked, the people also are going to be wicked. And the scripture says that what the wages of sin is death. Now let me pull up that scripture right here. All right, wages of sin. That's within the so-called New Testament, Romans 6 and 23 says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of the Messiah is eternal life. Because guess what? Through Yahweh, like it says here, Yahweh, Mashiach, our Lord, all right, the Lord was going to have mercy upon the 12 tribes of Israel, okay? So it says here, the wages of sin is death. We know that the, 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 the earth is, let's go to the book of Job, the ninth chapter, okay, and the 10th verse. Okay, Lord's will, this is all tying up neatly uh, back there at home. Um, or wherever you may be watching this video, okay? Uh, Job 9 and 24, it says, the, the, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judge if thereof. Is not, if not wherein, who is he? That goes into what? That goes into the fact that the Lord gave this man Esau, okay, the, 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 the earth. The scripture says, as the ruler of the people is, so, as the ruler is, so the people shall be. And it also said, when the rulers, when, when the wicked are in rulership, the people mourn. Okay, so what can we conclude from that? Through sin, by by way of the, the ruler, okay, by way of the acts of the ruler, you have you was gonna have a lot of death within the world. But it goes further than that because the scripture talks about how this man Esau, when he was gonna be in rulership, okay, it was gonna go into into war. All right, let's get that real quick. Um, that's within the book of Revelations. Okay, let's put red horse. Okay, but it goes beyond even that, beyond the wars, beyond the diet, beyond the, the wickedness. It goes even onto the um, even onto the the, the, the uh, um. I just put horse. Okay, it goes. It goes even to the to the to, to the animals and the trees. Okay, and, and and so on and so forth. Okay, right. So uh, the book of Revelations, um. Okay, the six and four. And there went out another horse that was red, and power was uh, that was red, and power was given him that was sat thereon to take peace from the earth that they should kill one another, and it was given unto him a great sword. So who is who who is this person that was given this great red sword? Okay, Esau. Unto him was given this ICBM, the technologies for the ICBM nuclear missiles, okay, the, the different guns and weaponry that they got out there, and then they sold it to the other heathen nations and they took peace away from the earth. That's they're the they're the number one cause of death to all life within the world right now. See, when the more side comes, like the scripture said within the book of Matthew, the 24th chapter, that's if if the days wasn't going to be shortened and the Lord don't return soon, you was gonna have it to where no flesh was left to save. By way of the plastics, oil spills, okay, war, okay, uh, what else? Uh, uh all of this, all of this, uh, uh all everything that comes by way of having this wicked ruler being in that ruling seat. Okay. Now let's tie this all up. We're in the book of um, Isaiah, the 14th chapter. All right, Isaiah 14. Um, 
and 6. It says, He who smote the people with a continual stroke, he that ruleth the nations in anger is persecuted. And listen to this. L listen, listen to what the scripture says, brothers. The, the seventh verse. The whole earth is at rest and is quiet and they break forth into singing. So when the Messiah removes this person from this, e this Edomite from being in power, the whole earth is going to be at rest. Now check that out. All right. The whole earth is going to be at rest. Okay. The whole earth is at rest and is quiet and they break forth into singing. Yea, the fir trees rejoice. And the settlers of Lebanon saying, since thou art laid down, no fellows come up, up, up against us. And that's going into what? Deforestation. All right. And also, too, if it's talking about deforestation, you're going to include the oil spills. You're going to include the fracking that destroys the um the, the earth and the foundations of the earth. You're going to include all of these things, man. All right. This man is totally wicked. All right. And by his actions, he's basically destroyed the, the, the fabric of life, whether it be animals, trees. OK, uh, birds, OK, man and woman, he's destroyed that by way of these uh, Me Too movement or whatever. All of these uh, agendas, OK, all of these uh, um, uh, things that he's done to destroy the world. OK, so, you know, that's the video that I'm going to say. Oh, praise this unto Yahweh Hashim Yahashai, Waha Rakakadash. All right, Yahweh Hashim Yahashai, Baba Kashar, Baba Kashar, Baba Kashar, I'll be here and I'll do more videos and uh, uh, um, uh, this kingdom be destroyed soon. And uh, with that, I'm going to say Shalom.